I often hear believers accusing atheists, saying that we're not really atheists, that there's really no such thing as an atheist, because I'm told that we all secretly believe in God. And not only that, but they say that we know that God exists, but that we pretend that he doesn't so we can sin, whatever that means. So we supposedly know that we're always under the omniscient, all-seeing eye of an inescapable, indomitable despot that we really believe is there, but we just pretend that he isn't there when we know he is, so that we can do whatever we want. Which is like knowing that the FBI is recording everything you say, but you pretend that they're not, just so that it doesn't matter what you just confessed to. We are not as profoundly stupid as believers must be to even imagine something so dumb. Christians like to pretend that our lack of belief is a belief and that it's not based on reason, but on morality, or rather, a lack of morality. And some apologists even say that the only reason we don't believe is so that we can be immoral. No, that's not only is that not true of every atheist, I don't think that's ever been true of any atheist. Not only that, but this isn't even a moral issue, not on either side, because... That's never been the reason we don't believe, and because Christian theology really isn't concerned with morality. Because it doesn't matter how evil you are. All sins will you know, may be forgiven if you but believe, but if you don't believe, then it doesn't matter how good you are, because the only sin that will not be forgiven is the sin of disbelief. Any believer, no matter how vile, can make it into heaven. But unbelievers go to hell, regardless of good works. So morality is irrelevant. All that's important is that you believe what you're told to believe. 